What's up guys, Jack here. Today's video is gonna be talking about how to choose the right lens if you are looking to do video or filmmaking on your DSLR or mirrorless camera. This video is gonna be entirely focused on video production and the right lenses to help you do that. So let's check out what I think are some of the top lenses for video right now. The first thing I wanna talk about is cameras. When you're looking to match the right lens with a camera, it's important to understand the specifications of the camera you have and which lenses will work with it and which lenses won't. The most important factor here that you need to keep in mind is the sensor size of your camera. So if you have a full frame camera, you need to make sure that you're getting full frame lenses Full frame lenses will work on cameras with smaller sensor sizes, but not the other way around. If you do get a full frame lens for a APS-C camera, if you ever move to a full frame camera, you can still use those lenses, which I think is a real positive. And the other thing though to point out is if you put a full frame lens on an APS-C camera, it will change the effective uh, focal distance. So the an 18 millimeter lens will be somewhere more in the neighborhood of 30 millimeters or something like that. So that's important to keep in mind. One of the first things you want to think about is how you will be using the camera. If you're just building a kit and getting into making videos, I would highly recommend a zoom lens. And the one that I really like for Sony cameras is the Sony 18 to 105 f4. This will work on any A6000 series cameras. I like that it's an f4. It's fixed throughout the entire focal range. And I think it's just a great versatile all around lens. Uh, you can use it for photography, but it actually in my experience has worked really well with video. The 18 gives you that wide angle and the 105 is more of a telephoto almost type zoom uh, that's really helpful at times. Another zoom that I really like that's specifically a wide angle zoom is the Sigma 18 to 35. So the 18 to 35 is an f1.8. It takes great video. So many YouTubers use the lens. This is a Sigma lens hooked up to the A6500. I love the lens. It's definitely one of my favorites. One thing I will say, if you're a vlogger, if you're traveling, if you're using this lens outside of a studio environment, it is a big and somewhat heavy lens. So if you're in a studio environment, no big deal. But if you're traveling and moving around with the lens a lot, I would probably not recommend it. If portability is your thing and you need a great lightweight lens that still gives you really good sharpness, really good image quality, I would lean more towards something like this lens, which is a prime lens. That means it's a fixed focal length. This is a 30 millimeter lens from Sigma, so there's no zoom in it. The nice thing about this lens, it's super sharp. The images from it are really high quality. I'll show you the same test footage that I shot with the 18 to 105 with this Sigma prime lens now. So tell me if you see any difference or what you guys think. I really like this lens. It's an f1.4, which is really nice if you want to get that shallow depth of field. It has autofocus on it. I found it to work pretty well. The one drawback to this lens that I don't like about it, the more I use it, it doesn't work super well in manual mode for video. It's just a bit unreliable at times. Like there's times where it works really well and you can totally rely on it. And then there's other times where it seems really glitchy and the sharpness and the image quality of the lens is really good and really top notch for the price. I'll link all these lenses below in the description so you guys can check them out. So if you want super silky manual focus and you want to be able to make those really fine adjustments, then I think what you should look at is a lens like a what's called a Cine Prime. So these are lenses that are designed specifically for video. What's cool is the, the focus thrower, how much the lens turns as you're focusing it is much longer. So that makes allows you to make really fine adjustments to the focus and to do really smooth focus in and focus out. The other thing that's good about these is they have really, really low apertures. So this goes down to 1.2, which allows you to get the super shallow depth of field. It allows you to shoot in low light environments. The only real drawback to these lenses, aside from not being really uh, photo lenses, is that they don't have autofocus. So they're manual focus only. 
This means that it's really hard to do if you're vlogging or you're in front of the camera like I am now. You can't rely on any sort of autofocus. Basically, I think it comes down to understanding what type of videos you're gonna be taking, what type of environments you're gonna be shooting in, and then kind of assessing your budget and what you think kind of fits your style the best. So for me, I found that the wide angle zooms are my favorite. I love the 18 to 35s. I love the zooms because it gives me flexibility. Let me know what you guys think in the comments if you have any questions about these lenses. Hopefully you enjoyed it. As always guys, thanks for watching and see you next time.